Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CIE. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis a couple of times last week, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. Uh, but after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made. First update comes from a, a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch the video last week, hopefully you remember me talking about 28 cents as a level of resistance. And you can see once the price broke up above it, uh, that was actually back on Friday. You could throw this you know, right into a textbook in terms of, again, former level of resistance. Now you wanna see it act as support. And you can see right there, acted as support. And then once again today, acted as support. So case in point, going forward, you definitely wanna see 28 cents hold as support because assuming that is the case going forward, what's that gonna give you from a quote unquote story perspective? What's gonna give you a set of lows right here? You look where the previous set of lows was down there. You picture each one of those as stair steps and now you got stair steps starting to make progress in the upwards direction. And from the bigger picture of things, that's what it's all about. Assuming you're bullish, assuming you're long, you wanna see stair steps being built in the upwards direction. Now on the flip side of things, and this again will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the videos from last week, it continues to be all about this very stubborn pink line there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Last time I talked about it, uh, you know, the, the price had made this big move and surprise, surprise, that's right where the price struggled. And that line has continued to slope downwards and you can see today continued to struggle. Sure, the price has broken above it a couple of times, but as far as ever maintaining and staying above it after it's broken above it, well, that's where the price has struggled. Like I said, broke above it, but as far as staying above it, nope, fell back below, broke above it, fell back below. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's impossible for that pink line to be broken, uh, but that is the 200 period, a very famous moving average within the world of charts. Uh, so point here being, and what the, the story has reiterated to us is if the bulls are gonna you know, keep on building these stair steps, they're gonna have to bring this, you know, their A game and eventually push through that pink line, but not only push through it, then be able to start to maintain above it and stay above it. So that'll be, uh, you know, definitely the pressing concern now going into the remainder of the week, getting above that pink line and staying above it. So we'll see what the bulls have in store. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.